Boabs. It's a landmark just before you get to the border. And I would have coffee there. I guess there's no cafe for cake, but anyway, Dave's the barista, so he can make me a beautiful coffee this morning at the Boabs. Probably all knocked over. Rubbish. <laughs> I think Wiki lied. Dave's just having a look, but we've pulled over. Are they the coolest trees? Mm. Well, that was a bit disappointing. What did it say, Dave? It just says that um, that was those boabs you just took a picture of as we drove past. It's not an actual stop. It's just saying that there's no webs here. Yeah, plenty of Let's pull off the point here and see what it says. Hmm. Truck park. Look at that beautiful sunrise coming up. Jesus. <laughs> well, lucky. Okay, let's see, because I just left the coffee machine. I didn't secure it. Oh. Yeah, this is why we put it in the sink. But we only came like two seconds down the road. Same better on. Left the gas on all night. <laughs> Unbelievable. How long have you been travelling for, Nick? How long? Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it coming up. It's going to go over and touching the top of the rocks now and the boabs. Beautiful boab trees. Kimberleys. They're amazing. Dave and I actually got married under a boab tree in Broome. It was just gorgeous. What a magical place. Just before the border. I'm so excited to be back in WA. I could just cry. I love our state. After doing this whole trip, I think West is definitely best. Beautiful. How perfect is the morning with just birds and nothing else? Yeah. Thanks, Doug. Cheers. Morning, everyone. Morning. How beautiful. There's even a bird's nest in that one. Mm. Two. There's two. Yeah. Can you grill the bird? <laughs> well, this is hilarious. This is the quickest seventy k's we'll ever do. Yeah. 
Russian thing, but the um, the old inspector bloke, he was cranky, he? he was a cranky pants. This morning, this morning, like his wheat picks, very, very abrupt, like. Mm. Oh, I, I, I would imagine by the end of the day dealing with people, he would be, but you know, first thing in the morning. But and uh, first time you've seen that you've actually got to give over your wood. Now, lucky we didn't have any wood, but there's a big pile of wood there, and he asked about wood. So, put that in as a check too, that you can't have, farm. you've got to drop your firewood off. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, we did have an onion, so it, it's... Well, we had three onions. We, but yeah, yeah, but hang on, we had an onion in the fridge that was peeled. He said, and we went to hand it over, and he says, oh, you can keep that. Okay. And then, um, but he took the three that weren't, so... Yeah. Um, obviously, if you want to keep the onions, peel them. Yeah. Um, Honey that we try to get rid of, but <laughs> no. And just some leftover spinach, and um, that's all we had. Oh, what were those things that you always buy and never eat? Cucumber. Yeah. And then goes on a guy <laughs> goes on this. Oh, I really Health love them. Mm -hmm. She leaves them in the fridge; they shrivel up to nothing, and then we throw them out. Yeah. Radio, woohoo! We're back, back in, in WA. WA. Alright, the famous Ivanhoe Crossing. Radio, crossing over. When I was a kid, I used to ride my bike out here and we'd jump in and jump in there and go for a swim every afternoon and there's a croc in there, which we'd just come to have a look at. He's just stuck his head up over there, but yeah, pumping station. We're gonna come. So it's the Ord River where I used to ski. I learned to ski here when I was 11. Everyone put your hand up if you wanna see Nick ski. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think I'm past that point. So this morning, we're going to pop into Zebra Rock at Stonecraft. It's got a coffee cup up there, so... I guess we're that. having coffee and cake. With all the corn growing out there. wonder why it's so... It's like like a hedge, it's perfect. Yeah, look at the water. You can't see the water from this side.
dad's got one. Yes. big piece of it with the zebra next to the zebra rock and I'm matching I'm matching today yeah look at that look at these crocodiles they've made out of it Well, unfortunately, there was no coffee or cake. So we're going to try a little other cafe just down the road from where we're staying. But it's that was really interesting, interesting in there. Like some yeah. of the stuff he had, it is expensive, but I dare say it's very time consuming. Yeah, worth having a look anyway. That's yeah. for sure. Well, it just looks like a nice little spot. You can bring your dog. Um, it's just down the road from where we're staying. Just show you the sign of what it's called. Ivanhoe Farms. Ivanhoe Cafe. Yeah, well, we kind of prioritise what we spend our money on and it wasn't cheap. Um, and we've already had a coffee this morning and it did look good yeah, but like yeah. it was for a mushroom omelette was $27 yeah so um, we are going to Broom and we want to spend a bit of money there and do a bit there so um, we're just prioritising which you have to do budgeting when you're travelling so yeah Indy Valley Miramar if that's how you pronounce it National Park So this is a little bit like Bungle Bungles, um, similar sort of rock formations. To try and capture it without the sun, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. So there's three walks, an easy one, <laughs> a little bit better and a bit harder, so three and a half, 800 and 500. We've got this real nice boardwalk here, <laughs> old supermodel, let's see if we can get her to climb up. The rocks. As long as there's no lizards, they'll be right. Of snakes. Oh, you reckon if there's one down the bottom, you'd hurry up. So high. So a really good walkway here. Obviously, there's a bit of a water hole, water hole maybe. Yeah. Maybe in the wet, but it's dry now. Yeah, it'd be really pretty in the wet, I think. So quiet. 
quiet, peaceful in here. If you go right, you've got a three and a half K walk up the hills, up the top there where all those people are. bit creaky the old part but it is suspended up off the ground as you can see all these yellow flowers are on these trees are kapok so in the old days they used to pull all it's like a cotton almost and they used to stuff their old mattresses with it and pillows It is sort of like a lost city, isn't it? So beautiful. I don't know if you can see the moon up there. This is a stringy bark eucalyptus. They use it actually for didgeridoos. The trunks and the branches craft into didgeridoos for the wood spears. Red up there, it's just spectacular, isn't it? It's so high. Just the sun hitting that rocks now. Amazing. That'd have to be 50 metres high. Mm -hmm. We've got toilets and um, picnic areas and that here. Well, so we just done the 500 metre walk. There is a 800 and a three and a half kilometre one, which I'd say the three and a half kilometre ones that takes you right around the perimeter up there. But, um, We've got a little barbecue area as well. Yep, and barbecue area. Barbecues. Just so you got a rough idea how tall these are, there's the patrol. And this is right in town, like right yeah. in Kalanara's town. Like if we, from where we stayed at the um, Agriculture Society or the showgrounds there, it's only 2.2 k's yeah. in. Alright, you can see the sun's just poking its head back through those clouds. It's almost sunset. What's that hill up there? Kelly's Knob or something? Yeah. So that big one up there is Kelly's Knob. And that's that Miramam, Miramar National Park. Cheers guys. We just drove up to part of Kelly's Knob, it only comes up about a quarter of the way of the road. There's an hour, they're saying allow an hour and twenty to walk to the, top, the top and back, but well, as you can see it'll be dark by the time we get to the top. <laughs> but beautiful view from up here. Back down over Kananara. Nice sunset. Dogs are walking up. <laughs> So that's the Kelly's knob right up the top there, the one, the aerial type thing to the right. And I don't know if you can see, there's some people right up the top there. You can walk out to this other one down over there and there's people on top of that one Just as well. the other side of this That's where the car thing. park is. Yeah. And then you've got that climb up to the top, but we're going to run out of light, so we'll have to give it a miss. just found a little bush track at the back of this national park, at the back of the LIA. Just when we got the car nice and clean. <laughs> okay, we've, like Nick said, we just found this little track. Coming through here, just parked up there. And we're on the back end of that national park. I've actually climbed a hill, a bit of a rock hill. Nick's going, wait, let me get my breath back. So I've just come up around there. You ready to talk yet or what? Yeah. Right. <laughs> She'll want to be on the highs behind, so she's about my height now. <laughs> yeah, so we're level. Anyway. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. 
Um, probably not a lot here in Kununurra that we've actually filmed. We had a bit of a chill out day today and we just did um, Ivanhoe Crossing. Yep. Um, yeah, so we just relaxed today and we're off tomorrow early. So we're just going to leave this one here and the beautiful Kimberleys. And um, yeah, like and subscribe and we'll see you next yep. time. Cheers.